One in here, farmer. Mm. Not my owl. Because you're on your knees, fucking praying. No, that's the perfect technique, actually. There's one in here, quite lively. Oh, is she? Yes. <laughs> I bet you like that. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, you've got to go. And no point putting yourself at risk, is there? I'll bet a gate between you and her, mate. That's the. He'll be back. He's coming back. Nice little calf. He's a little bit early to have a ring on, but he's definitely sucking, he should be alright. He got a bit of go about him, he's... I've double knotted that. <laughs> Safety knot. Back here again, mate. <laughs> That's it. Sweet. Right. Yeah. Go. go on in. That's the one. tagged up the uh, the last few calves that we had had we've had a few now um, I think we're up to about 23 uh, no, 23 24 I believe now but this shed here actually turns into a pen so we've got a bit of clearing up to do all the sheets have got to come up all the straws got to go around the back so uh, today we're gonna be uh, just getting this shed ready we might even get to putting barriers up um, by tomorrow at least I'd have thought. I'm going to take this around the back. Got a load of wheat coming in a minute. So either me or the old man will load that. I think there's three loads going out this week. So it might even be another one today. They tend to just turn up when they turn up. This is a load of oat straw and then we got some uh, big bale wheat straw next door to that we'll get these all out by the end of today we ain't got to rush about it's not like we need it tomorrow but we do need it in the next few days Charlie's just off with a farmer they're gonna go and do a bit of spraying start getting the field spray, uh, sprayed off and yeah we see what the weather does because uh, if it stays dry for long enough and it comes warm we might even end up finding ourselves on the drill again but we see that when it comes to it all right Hello, hiya 
You all right? Yes, how you doing? What a day, eh? Nice, isn't it? Didn't see you last week, but I saw the big car. I know, there's loads of them now. Oh. Christ, we had a right night of it the other night. Really? We had four overnight and it was mad, yeah. Oh, they're so farmer was, farmer. I don't think farmers slept that night. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, yeah. Oh, fabulous. I'll show you them in a minute. Yeah, love it. We've I've got, got you some, packs. yeah, I've got you some oh, down. You're an angel. Thank I'm you, ready lovely. for it. Let's go. Yeah, that'll be fine, mate. Thank you. Oh, is it? Not playing the game. It's one of them fancy ones, you see. That's the trouble. Take me back to a man. Man was having a few problems with his sheet there. Gonna get him all loaded up. I think farmer's already tipped um already uh loaded a, a lorry already because I can see the heap's gone down. How much can you get on there then? Uh, it's been like 28 and a half on there. 28 and a half? Yeah. Is that because your tractor unit? Yeah. Is it? You yeah. got? Is this a big one? Uh, well, it's probably went through it, but with a bigger wheel and stuff like that, it's just a bit, that's a bit on. Yeah. About, uh, just under 16 ton empty it is. Is it? Yeah. Oh, right. Is that a mid lift or what do they call it? The, where yeah, the, mid, the lift. mid lift? Yeah. The, what's the one where the, uh, the back will lift up? Is that a tag? Tag axle. Tag yeah. axle. yeah. Oh, this is that 302. She done the splits. We just noticed she's uh, she going backwards in her condition. So she's coming back into the good pan, where the good food is. She'll like it in here. We weren't sure if she got a bit of fluke about us. The farmer's going to have a look at her tomorrow. Charlie reckons a bit of worms, maybe. But she she certainly ain't right. Is she Charlie? Uh, she ain't right, is she? No. She's too skinny. Uh, Go on in. Go on in, girl. Back in there. Uh, That's it. It's a little fiery one, isn't it? Go on, Mark. Go on. Go on. On you go. Go on, go on, go on. What are you doing? Don't think so, Pin. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Every morning's the same. Come in, do cattle. Make sure everything's littered up. When we're carving, farmer, the first job farmer will do is go around and check cattle. First check. He's too straw, a bit too good for in here, if I'm honest. But, never mind. What's here at the minute? No calves overnight. 
So Farmer, I imagine, got some sleep last night. Concrete coming Monday. fancy machines or food wagons or anything like that everything just comes into into these little feed troughs it works nice for us you know yeah we always get the question of why don't we have a straw blower but if we needed one we'd get one but we quite like being in and around the animals littering up you know gives you a bit of uh, Exercise in the morning. That will annoy me if I don't grab that. Oh, you bugger. that one but they'll still eat 90% of that because they're disgusting and they like it smelly just had a calf I've got to go and check him oh yeah look at that that's how quick they have them we've been here 291 you see them with their head shaking like that, you, you pretty much know they're going to be alright. Look at him, trying to get up already, look. That is exactly how you want to see them. Me and the old man have been, at, well, I'm a farmer as well. Everyone's been buggering about with him. But this morning, this little white facing, he was in here. He's come back into this pen here because there's nothing in here at the minute. Everything's been turfed out into the yard now, which is good. But uh, is he going, Charlie? This is the first time that farmer already tried him this morning and uh, didn't get very far with him. And then uh, it, a mother's touch, eh, Charlie? What do you reckon? <laughs> I don't know. I'm so happy because I was really worried about him. Me and, me, me and Keith, anyway, we've been buggering about with him. Yeah, but that's always a sign. His old tongue fell out better yesterday. Yeah. He, he ain't going to be able to go straight out, but if he can, yeah, he's, yeah, he seems, he seems to have a go. The more he gets, the more stronger he'll get, won't he? And, uh, but he's a hell of, he was a hell of a car, so a massive car. He's all turned bad now, so once he starts now, he'll, he'll be all right. Yeah. These big calves, they had a real big tongue, and it sticks out the side, and they sort of can't use the tongue very well. And he's been really, the um, farmer's been tubing him where uh, you, it's a bit dangerous. You stick the tube down into the belly and then fill him up with milk that way. But uh, this is the first time he's going. Being abused, isn't she? <laughs> you could tell though straight away, can't you? Yeah, he was upside down with his paws in the air, and I, was, I, I went to have a look because I was like, he's either got a bag on his head or. But he's trying to run about, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, she's got to come out. Got a stabilizer in there, sucking the cows. Uh, it's not what you want. You want 
the old calves to have the milk, not the uh, the cattle. We've just done 302 in here. She's had a bit of drench for a fluke and worms. She's lost a bit of condition and it's noticeable. So she's back in here. She is due to calves still. The old man's just taking a crush out. She's at the back there. She's just a little bit thin. She was. She's the one that did the splits that time. This one here. So we, we monitor her now and see how she does. Hopefully that sorts her out. Come on. Go on, go. That's it. Go on in. Yeah. Come we get. Your little rosy cheeks are gone round. <laughs> 20 takes off. Go on, go. Go on, go. Go on. Got him? Well done. That's it. Go on, crazy. This one has got one, it's just not here. She's gonna give us a run around now, Charlie. She's going to the naughty, the naughty bay. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. <laughs> right, round a go again. Go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Ah. Go on. Ah. Ah. Best way to stay fit, isn't it, Charlie? Yeah, thanks for putting me in this pen, mate. Yeah. He got okay, he's he's got the only room with its own strip club. <laughs> you sucky, sucky. <laughs> She's been sucking off all the cows that are carving. She's pinching the milk. And when they pinch, if they get to the if they get to the milk before the calf does, they're pinching all the colostrum. And she's a really bad one for it. We put a uh, a little thing in its nose with spikes on to deter her and she's found a way to get it off so she's in the naughty pen now she'll stay in there till she calves well it's been a bit of a morning this morning got a load of uh, cow work done i've got some straw under here i want to get at get them out so all this sheet's going to come off the old man's going to come around pick the bale off pick these big ones up those are hay bales they'll get fed two straw ones they'll go in the cows in the morning and uh, we'll pull this net off. I've got a bit of climbing to do. Yeah, it's an easy way up this time. Uh, yeah, right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Uh, this is a new block of, uh, we call it a lay hay. It's a bit of a, it's a Timothy Meadow clover mix. R a little bit coarser than your standard meadow hay. We're climbing right on up. Don't look down. Oh, try not to fall down the holes. Basically the sheets up here, the sheets are important. They keep the rain off from the outside. And they keep the color of the hay. Straw goes on top, lets the hay breathe. Keeps the uh, dust off, stops it coloring. Important, more important than you realize. And then the straw gets reused. There's no waste. Straw gets pulled off on the floor and then we literally grab it, put it under the cow's feet. Job done. Got some straw at the front here, that's what I want to get at. And then behind we'll get onto these lay. They're all getting used at the moment. That's getting cut. That one's getting cut. Oh. You do have to just watch what you're doing when you're up here. If anything feels unsafe, 
get off. This bale needs to come off. And the old man will be here with the grab in just a tick. 83 years old, look. Every day this winter, in the minus, in the minus sevens and eights, he's been out with us. He don't mess about. If he ain't got the right grab on, he make it work. <laughs> Remarkable old boy. There we go. A bit of straw to go now. Only, there's only literally one, one pack's worth. So that'll keep us going for about a week. Got a man coming in for a bit of straw today, so a few of those will go. We'll fill the trailer up with the rest and then we can get onto the hay at the back. So sheets like this always get reused. Uh, hang on, I'll just straighten this out. Most people would throw it away, but that'll be plenty good enough for a bottom sheet, even a side sheet. Whoa. All right. We just fold them up, stick them in the shed. They come in handy another day. Sets me up with a job, and then uh, he's off to go and get some more straw for tomorrow. How many blimmin' I, I certainly don't know any, but I go on about it all the time. But he's bloody, he can't, he can't sit in the house. He can't stop. Old Charlie and the farmer get set up, ready to go spraying again. Got to wait for the uh, frost to burn right off before you can get it. So uh, they leave it to about midday. Go and do a couple of tanks. Uh, it's got to go on a dry leaf, you see. get it straight away you'll drop a few then you soon learn what's going to come off and what end when you go up high with them it's the only time you'll drop them is when they're up high and it's just because you can't see if they're actually picked up or not but you do get a feel for it after a while they're going on this trailer and it's just to keep pick them off the front really because stop the rain getting in There. Gonna get the rest of these off. Here he comes with his load. Doesn't mess about, does the old man? <laughs> we ain't on the road, so he don't he didn't put no straps on if you ain't on the road. He just brings them up like that. Three on the front as well, look. You wanna Does that pump, go one more string? I got my I got a car gesture right. Like, yeah. And you know it pumps out and it's full. Okay. And of course people won't come and look at it no. until I've got it empty. Okay. But I need it emptied anyway because it's proper full. Yeah. So we said you you, you need a tractor as well? Yeah. Okie dokie. That's this morning's car. Just having a drink. That's what we wanted to see. Just in that hole there would be lovely if you can get it in there. No, yeah, if, if it will go in that side, that'll be spot on. Thank you very much. Load of stone for the uh, for the concrete works. We're going to be uh, doing a bit more after this this bit. I'm just going to watch this man into this hole here. This is 302, this is the one that did the splits. She looked a bit unconditioned, so yesterday, uh, yeah, just um, a couple of days ago, we uh, would give her some fluke treatment and worms, 
and uh, this morning she decided to have her car backwards farmer pulled it out yeah a bit of a surprise actually but he's alive and uh, yeah it's all right farmer's just uh, feeding him he's a bit early Matt he's a bit early do you reckon yeah she hasn't got a lot of milk about that okay but it's a live calf and it's good isn't it yeah, coming through. Kids are here. Come for a look. It's the weekend. Mm. So we're probably going to finish up there. It's the end of the week again. I think, uh, I don't know if we're going to get these barriers up today, but either way, by uh, Monday we'll get the barriers, barriers up. We've got concrete coming for the outside of the yard on Monday as well. So that's going to be done Monday. So you'll see that on the next video. Uh, once the other shed's up and ready, we get all we've got to do is put barriers up, put the water down, put some feed troughs in, connect the water. And yeah, then we can move what we we'll, will it'll be on the next video. We'll be moving cows around the yard. Yeah, that 302 was a bit of a surprise to us, actually. The kids just popped down. We weren't expecting her to calf at all. She, she, we brought her back in here. We saw, we just monitored her. She's losing condition fast. So we put her back in there and the farmer was like, right, I'm going to give her another wormer and fluke, different type of fluke treatment, see if that helps. And then literally, lo and behold, today, he saw two feet coming out the back of her. Just, um, I don't know how he noticed her really. Um, but he noticed her and they were backwards as well. So the feet were upside down. So a telltale sign. He had her straight over and carved her and calves up on his feet. So well, I'll show you that next time, see how he's doing. But uh, just got to keep walking through the shed. Nothing going on in here, actually. And our little one with the white face are all probably having a nap in the middle of the day. You right, mate? Just one minute. They're all having a sleep, aren't they? Yeah. So these are all the newest ones from this week. I think we had seven or eight this week. These are all uh, the latest ones from this week. This is the one from a week ago, and he's out of a calf. He was huge. Farmer tubed him. You know, we could, then we spent a bit of time with him, trying to get him to go, trying to get him to go. And then a week later, he sort they sort of gained control of their tongue a little bit better, and all of a sudden, it all, everything comes together. His tongue starts to go. Charlie put him on the cow, and uh, away he went. He was good as gold, like it was nothing. But uh, yeah, hard work he was. So I'm glad to see him up and going. Everything in there will get moved across. These lot will go into there, then there'll be a big space in here again. Not much wrong with him now. 